appalled that the United Nations is not calling out the United Supreme United States Supreme Court for being illegitimate. We have had this right for 50 years and we will continue to fight for it if they take it away. We will continue to be here until they decide that it's not worth it for women to have rights. We will be by the millions in the streets until they know that we will not follow the rest of their laws if they do not keep this right with us. I want us to start with the arguments against this ruling, this potential ruling. Because now they're saying that all these states are coming out and they're already introducing all this legislation to pretty much outright ban abortion. The way I look at this whole topic, it's 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 very philosophical because it boils down to when you consider a human life to start. Is that fair to say? Yeah, yeah. Some people feel like it's from con- conception. Yeah. Some people feel it's from viability. And by viab- viability, what we mean is the point where the baby can, can, survive. can survive on its own without the, the mother. And some people feel like this is a this is strictly a, a choice about women's rights to do whatever they want to do with their body. True, true. So the first argument against this ruling is I want that I want to introduce is my body, my choice. Lady V, what do you think about women that say, look, I don't care. I don't care when you think a life starts or a life doesn't start. As long as this child is in me. I get to determine that child's life. What are your thoughts on that? Um, honestly, that argument has always been ridiculous um, because my body implies that yeah. the child is part of the woman's body. And if it were actually part of the woman's body, then there would be no argument about abortion. The reason why it is an abortion is because it's a separate entity. Like no one stopped women from going to cut off their toenails Mm -hmm. or to have like an appendix removed um, because your toenails are part of you. Your appendix is part of you. You make the decision. Mm -hmm. But the reason why abortion, there's a controversy over it is because the fetus, the baby is not part of you. They're inside you. And that's a very important distinction. So my body, my choice implies that the baby is part of the mother, but that's not true. What is true is that um, she has control over what happens to the baby because it, the baby happens to be inside of her and dependent on her. Okay. Um, which, it, like, is a different argument. But my body, my choice. I think just the premise of it is wrong to begin with, so it's an invalid argument. Okay, but how about in cases of, let's say, the mother's life is at risk? Um, does do does the woman have a right to say, you know what, I want to live and I'm willing to sacrifice this baby in order to in order to keep my health intact? Um, I think in days gone by, that would have been a very tough choice to make because the the medical science had not gotten to the point where we could save both the life of the mother and the baby. But today we can, like we have the technology. We um, always have the the capability to do that. We do? Yes. Yeah. Yes. At at any given point, sometimes surgeries are done for babies and, and the babies are placed back. So delivery is done. Exactly. Interesting. Exactly. How, how about in the case of the R word? I don't want to say it because of you know algos, but in the case that a woman was um, molested and they they happened, she happened to get pregnant in the process, and this wasn't necessarily a choice that she had made. What do you say about that? Um. So personally, I think that is a difficult uh it's a difficult situation for anybody uh, but my position is regardless of how the baby was conceived the baby is already there so if we decide that you know we can take the life of a child because of the way they were conceived then that's giving us a right that we don't have over the lives of other people um there are people who are conceived of rape who have grown up today and they like they go around giving speeches about you know their experience none of them says i wish i wasn't born um or i wish my mother had aborted me for her the sake of her mental health every baby wants to be alive like they want to survive so you're so saying i don't that, think should, the child should be punished so you're saying because that of how they were so, so you're saying that if the victim of our of you know our ward 
does not have any should not have the right to terminate a child that she never that pretty much was forced upon her so what it sounds like is you're like a pro-life absolution um absolutist essentially is that is that is that fair to say um yeah i guess you could say absolutist so so although i don't i don't want to use that term because it it sounds like i'm not willing to listen to arguments like i i listen to arguments on the other side it's just that i don't feel that any of them are credible okay so how about how about precedence when it comes to the course i'm 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 gonna 